students let's begin with the third chapter from your history and civics book of grade 6 and the name of the chapter is the indus valley civilization so in this chapter we are going to understand about the river valley civilizations okay so let's begin the discovery of the ancient ruins of Harappa by Daya Ram Sahani in 1921 of, and of Mohanjadaro by Rakhal Das Banerjee uh, between 1922-23. to 23. Both of them were the archaeological survey officer of India, those who exploded the age of the myth. Here, they are trying to explain us that what is the exact age of the Mahanjadaro and Harappan civilization. Okay, from the excavation, from the ruins that they got, from those, they understood that they examined and found out that this civilization in India existed long back, maybe 4,500 years ago. Before it was a myth, it was a belief that in India, it was the civilization might be uh, present there for 2000 years ago. But after the excavation was done, it was proved that there was no doubt that this civilization was present in India for about 4500 years back. The civilization belonged to the Bronze Age. The discovery of Indus Valley seals and pottery among the ruins of the uh, ancient Sumerian cities uh, shows that India had trade links with Mesopotamian and uh, which was a contemporary civilization of the Indus Valley civilization. What is the location? Where is it located? Okay, so Mahanjodaro uh, Mahanjodaro was uh, located on the banks of river Indus in the Larkhana district now in Pakistan okay and Harappan civilization was found um, on the banks of river Ravi that is also at present in Pakistan. Some principal cities that means some main cities of this civilization and uh, were first discovered among the river Indus and its tributaries. In, it is referred to as the Indus Valley Civilization. It is also called the Harappan Civilization. Okay, you can say uh, Mahanjadaro and Harappan Civilization or often it is called as Indus Valley Civilization also. Why it is called the Harappan Civilization? Because when the excavation work was going on, the um, Harappan city was the first to get unearthed. Unearthed means it is buried under the earth. So they started digging the soil and they first discovered the Harappan site and then they got the Mahanjadaro. For that, it is called as the Harappan civilization also. And as because the entire civilization was beside the river Indus, it is called the Indus Valley civilization also. What are the main characteristics of Indus Valley Civilization? First thing, it was the world's first or you can say earliest cities, a planned city. Okay, its first town planning, and its first architecture in stone and clay and its first example of sanitary engineering. That means the toilets, the bathrooms were made for the first time and a drainage system that was also planned planning uh, town planning in indus valley cities uh, the, the indus valley cities were very well planned and followed a grid system grid system means blocks they used to make different blocks first there will be the you know each had a different block a religious block was there where they used to go for the uh, religious ceremonies then they are having a hall that is also a different block. They are having a swimming pool that was a different block. So each thing was having a different block. It was a well-planned city. The main street ran parallel to each other and cut at right angles by smaller streets, dividing the cities into rectangular blocks or grids. As I was telling you, they are making blocks. Architecture, in architecture wise you can say Indus Valley's people were very skillful builders 
and they mainly builded or developed two kinds of houses dwelling houses and public buildings what are the dwelling houses large blocks of houses were built along the sides of the street okay along the side of the street large or you can say uh, numerous houses were built one after the other beside the street okay the houses at that time were mainly of two storied and they had a flat top they were they were made of baked bricks now also we make our house with baked bricks they have, they used to also make with baked bricks uh, of very good quality an average house had a courtyard surrounded by rooms a bathroom a kitchen and a well a narrow staircase that means the steps okay a narrow staircase led to the rooms upstairs so they were also well planned like us we have now public buildings the great granary granary is a place where you can store grains food grains okay a great granary at harappa was a large building historians believe that it was used to store surplus means extra extra food grains okay why it was uh, like that because they used to store the food grains there and they used to uh, they, they had built this beside the river bank so that it can be easily transported from one place to another with the help of a boat okay for that it was built beside uh, beside the river bank okay next another important building was the great bath great bath was found in mahanjadaro okay this building resembled a large swimming pool resemble means similar similar to a large swimming pool it had six entrances a uh, central bathing pool granaries sorry galleries and dressing rooms okay the great bath was probably used during religious ceremonies because as we were reading a few few seconds back that uh, how are, what are the things the dwelling houses used to have they are already having a bathroom in their own house so they were having this great bath also as a, a religious you can say uh, when they used to go for the religious ceremonies they used to go to this big swimming pool and they used to take a bath there okay next they also had a big assembly hall the assembly hall was another striking building found in mahanjodaro this may have been an assembly hall where they used to call for the meetings in the assembly hall they used to pray a prayer hall or a palace okay they what was the use of that place exactly cannot be found so the historians are guessing that this can be used for this purpose 